Today we're going to do a short campground review on the Bald Mountain Camping Resort or what used to be the Bald Mountain Camping Resort. That's right. KOA seems to be taking over a lot of these campgrounds and we're going to touch base on that. So stick around. Hey guys, welcome back to Why Wait. If you're new to the channel, I'm Chris. And I'm Megan. And today we just want to talk about the Bald Mountain Camping Resort, or it used to be the Bald Mountain Camping Resort. Now it is the Hiawassee KOA Holiday. Yes. We have a beautiful day today and we're sitting outside enjoying the weather. It is a little bit hot though. And a lot of muggy. And a lot of mugginess going on. We got the pups inside, staying nice and cool. So if you hear the AC kick on, I can apologize for that, but not much I can do about it. And speaking of them staying nice and cool, I'm going to touch base on one thing real quick. If you guys haven't heard of the Waggle Pet Monitor, it's something I think you should definitely check out. It's especially on hot days like this when we do have to go away from the RV for long times and we're out hiking and things like that. It will now notify us and give us a notification if we lose power to the RV. Which... And in turn would, you know, we lose AC. Yeah. And it is just too hot to have the dogs in there without AC. If you guys ever been inside one of these things without the AC running, it's just like your vehicle. It heats up extremely quick. You can get really hot really fast. In fact, we had our dogs over at her parents' camper just for a few hours. They were watching them. They left to go on a trip knowing we're coming over later that day to pick them up. They're not used to having the dogs. They closed the blinds, but they weren't really thinking and they did not leave the AC on. I just threw my parents under the bus. I did throw them under the bus a little bit. I'm sorry <laughs> if you guys are watching. <laughs> Luckily, it was only about two hours that they had been inside there, and it was only maybe mid-70s outside that day. By the time we got over to their RV and we went inside there, it was already 90-plus inside their RV, and the dogs were panting. And the blinds were down. Oh, so yeah. If you yeah. think that just turning, you know, putting the blinds down is going to save anything, it, it, yeah. not much. I mean, if it would have been an 85, 90-degree, 100-degree day, sunny blinds, I mean, it, it could have been tragic. And that happens a lot more than you would realize. Pets do die inside these RVs when the power goes out and the AC goes out and the owner is away for a few hours and doesn't know about it the same as it does in cars and parking lots. Mm -hmm. So when we do do these quick excursions and we're out and about, now we can just jump on the app like we said. It shows the humidity, it shows the heat, it shows if the power is lost to the RV, and it'll continue to give us notifications until the power is restored or as the heat in the RV goes up, we can monitor it and it's just a great peace of mind. Mm -hmm. Yep. If you guys haven't heard about that, go check it out. Depending on when you're watching this video, Prime Days coming up, and I know they got a 50% sale on Prime Days, on Amazon Prime Days, and we'll have links to all that down below. And if you missed Prime Day and you're watching this at a later date, we'll still have a link below and a promo code that you guys can use to still save some money. Now let's jump back into the review of this campground and talk about this KOA thing a little bit. That seems to be a trend going on around the United States right now. The KOAs kind of buying up these mom and pop campgrounds, taking them over and changing them. Is that good? Sometimes. Yeah, sometimes Is it it's bad. Good. Sometimes. Yeah, <laughs> it just depends on if you love the KOAs and kind of how they're managed. And I, really, it just really seems yeah. to be different with every KOA that we've been to. We really like some of them and some of them not so much. I think when they buy up some of these campgrounds, some of them are kind of run down and they turn them around, flip them and make them a lot nicer. And other times, well, they're already kind of really nice and being run by the mom and pop places and kind of change them into more of a corporate feel. Would you agree? Yeah, that's what this one, that's what happened with this one. Yeah, and another one that we actually usually winter at down in Texas, um, it used to be Coastal Breeze RV Resort in Rockport, Texas. We have a video on that and I'll put a link to that up here. You can go check it out. This was before it became a... A KOA. Yeah. So unfortunately, we probably not be going back to that one um, due to some of the changes. But. Yes, that one doesn't seem like it's worked out so well for KOA. We have a lot of people that still stay down there that we keep in contact with. It used to be a big group of us that would go back every winter. And now it appears that nobody is going back. <laughs> Including us. We're, we've chosen a different campground when we go back this yeah. winter. So. One of the big reasons is just cost. Uh, it went from a seasonal rate of around 450 to maybe 550 depending on the site, upwards to $900 to $1,000 a month. Almost doubled in price for the seasonals. And they took all the good seasonal sites away. Yes. 
which we had pre-booked some nice sites around the lake and on the waterfront and they decided to make those all nightly rates and move all the seasonal sites to they pull through up front kind of crappy sites <laughs> no personality on those. yeah and it's a shame that the rates got so expensive that it's just kind of off put a lot of people and, and everybody kind of left and i heard it's kind of an empty ghost town now mm -hmm. as far as this one goes though right here in hiawassee georgia the hiawassee Holiday, K Way, however you want to. Iowa K Way Holiday. Okay. <laughs> so far, things have seemed to stay the same. They've actually added some new amenities, which are really nice. The price, as far as seasonals, has not gone up drastically or anything that would, that has made anybody leave as of yet. That could happen. They it only could changed change. to the K Way um, the end of last year, uh, so that could definitely change. So don't uh, hold us to. That. Yeah, we'll put links down below to the campgrounds that we're talking about so you can go check them out if you want to look up their websites and prices and things like that. As far as this one goes, it's a beautiful location here in the North Georgia Mountains. We love coming here. In fact, we've stayed here before. This is the very first campground that we ever stayed at four years ago when we launched to go full-time RVing. Mm -hmm. We wanted to figure out how to uh, live full-time in an RV. So. We chose this place to start that for us. Yeah, it's really close to Blue Ridge, uh, where my parents stay at. So we, you know, we'd have some family close by in case things weren't going so good with the full time RV and with me being gone. So she had some, some family to help her out. But we love this campground, like we were saying. Um, what are some of the amenities um, that they've added since the KOA kind of took over? The jump pillow. Yeah, the for the kids. Yeah, the they've kids love that. Two playgrounds. Yep. They've always had a great pool. Um, they've oh, they've added some um, premium sites. Yeah, those are real nice. They mm -hmm. have like little glider rockers and some little fire pits, and they're they have real nice location pavers. pavers. And um, one of them even has a little uh, dog, a little tiny dog. Butt, dog <laughs> yeah, fence. it has its own little dog fence that it comes with. It looks like a little piece of astroturf yeah. for the dogs, which is kind of cool. Uh, speaking of dogs, they added two dog parks since the KOA yes, took those over. Are brand new. Yeah, and those are really nice. Before they never had any kind of dog park here, so that we were missing out on that. That's pretty cool. So they've done a good job since they've come in here and mm -hmm. adding things. Now, some of the amenities they've always had, they've always had a mini golf course, which yep. is a really nice one. It's it's kept up well. It's not in disarray like you see around some of the campgrounds. It gets um, used all the time. It so does. They're always um, taking care of the grounds around here. They're always mowing or weed eating or blowing, you know, the debris. It's a very well kept um, It is ground. very, and they take good care of it. It's, it's an old campground. It's been here for 30 years. Long time. Like yeah. But they always trim the trees and keep uh, the, you know, dead limbs or anything that might cause a problem. They always keep that clean and um, watching out for the people who are staying here. Yeah, yeah. and They're their pricing's always, always been good for seasonals too. That's one thing mm -hmm. that drew us here. The, the pricing for a seasonal site and seasonal right, which is year open now, it didn't always used to be open year round. It yeah. is now. You really can't beat their price when it comes to, to a seasonal site if you're looking to just kind of be stationary for a while like we do sometimes. So look into that. I can't speak into the future if that's yeah. going to stay the same or not, but it has been pretty good up at least until now. And um, Yeah. Okay. Some other things, uh, they have the paddle boats, mm -hmm. yep. the paddle boats, there's fishing in the lakes and ponds. They have a nice pavilion area where they're starting to do like, you know, social get togethers and things like mm -hmm. that. And along with the amenities, of course, it has the basics. It has a nice laundry room. There's an arcade, the campground store, and things like that. Mm -hmm. Now, we would love to hear from you guys. And if you can comment down below on some of the KOAs that you've stayed at, and if you like them or not. Good, bad, ugly. <laughs> yeah, we would love to hear about that and let the other viewers know, too. Like, what are you guys seeing out there as you're traveling? Are you finding that the KOAs are nice, they run well, they're competitively priced? Or are you kind of finding that that you still prefer to stay at the mom and pop places instead of giving your money to a big corporation. Yeah, you know, I mean, that's fine either way. We know that KOA has some discounts and you kind of know what to expect. You kind of know what you're getting. But sometimes we do like the feel of the mom and pop campgrounds and just when they're a little bit more family oriented, mm -hmm. the way they're run, you kind of get to know the owners. Yeah. We, we think that's pretty cool. We, we kind of usually prefer that. We kind of lean that. that way a little bit. We do. <laughs> Most of the time. We do, yeah. Uh, again, comment down below. Let us know what you think on the whole situation. We always love hearing from you guys. And as always, get out there, start your full-time RV adventure because... Why wait? Why wait? We'll see you guys next time. Today, we want to do a quick camp camp. Today, we want to do a... Stop. Today, we want to do a quick camp... Camp... Yeah. Today, we're going to do a quick...
I said it the first time, okay, I guess. <laughs> we're gonna be around the lake by the time we're gonna get this intro there. <laughs> so today we wanna do a quick campground. <laughs> <laughs> so today we wanna do a quick campground review. Today we wanna do a short campground review. <laughs> Does it sound funny to coming out? Like I have to like I can't Today we're gonna do a quick review on Bald Mountain. What was it? Bald Mountain Bald Mountain Camping Resort. Okay. 